Bell Textron has launched a helicopter designed for the future attack reconnaissance aircraft FARA program for the U.S. Army, a single rotor helicopter called the Bell 360 Invictus. The helicopter has a shark-like design that uses rotor technology developed for the Bell 525 Relentless Medium, a helicopter that is optionally manned, meaning it can carry two crew or no crew. The U.S. Army is currently looking for a night fighter for the role of FARA, high-speed, agile and lightweight helicopters that are able to defend themselves while checking enemy positions instead of heavy attack helicopters. The winning for a design must be able to maneuver in an urban environment, fly at speeds above 322 km per hour, and fly without a pilot to carry out intelligence and reconnaissance missions. The U.S. Army has stopped its last special surveillance helicopter Bell 058 Kiowa in 2017, since then the Army Armed Reconnaissance Squadron has flown Boeing A-64 Apache instead. But the Army wants to retire about half of the Apache fleet with which aircraft won the FARA competition, which began in 2028. Bell's competitors in the FARA design competition were Lockheed Sikorsky and Boeing, who worked together on the design of another Army heavy helicopter. The future long-range assault aircraft program. Airbus also indicated that it had submitted a design to compete. Sikorsky seems to have the advantage of having an earlier design, S-97 Raider. A helicopter with advanced coaxial rigid rotors and a single propeller rotor capable of speeding at 440 km per hour or 240 knots, developed with reconnaissance missions and first flew in 2015. But Boeing is reportedly looking at a high-speed design that comes from the Apache AH-64E Guardian. And Airbus has proposed a design based on the Eurocopter X3 high-speed hybrid helicopter with two pusher outboard rotors. Bell's design seems less radical than the design of Sikorsky and Airbus. But Bell claims that the aircraft will have the same capabilities and performance. The relentless 525 rotor system has been able to reach speeds above 200 knots true airspeed KTAS 230 miles per hour. 370 km per hour. And the design of Invictus includes lift-sharing wings to reduce air resistance during high-speed flight, intended to help reduce the back blade blade effects commonly experienced by conventional helicopters at high speeds. The Bell design also includes a 20mm cannon gun in the nose and an integrated ammo launcher on each side, capable of carrying Hellfire missiles and other weapons launched in the air. Invictus will also be equipped with enhanced situational awareness and sensor technology, the Bell press release releases. It will also be combined with a digital backbone, created by Collins Aerospace to accommodate the wishes of the U.S. Department of Defense who want a modular open systems approach for avionics and its systems, which enables future upgrades and upgrades as quickly as possible and reduces future purchase costs.